From neighborhoods to restaurants, schools to community centers, your voice has shared stories of open arms and open hearts that embrace all who come. We welcome everyone with open arms, and that is what our culture does. And our culture is very welcoming, and we're trying to be as helpful as we can. I think that was something that is ingrained uh, in, in the Gila River Indian community, is being good neighbors, is offering hospitality for, for decades. We're blessed to have this space here and spaces like this, and also being really welcoming and opening. So I'm really thankful to have places like this and people that make make this space a, a reality. We basically welcome everybody who wants to learn more about the universe, and that's really our mission, is to learn more about the cosmos of which we all belong and to communicate that to everybody. We'll get together and we'll have different salsas and we'll have the tortillas and everything and we'll all get together just to hang out and be very welcoming because that's how we are as a culture. We're getting the word out and I think people are seeing it and I, we invite them to come to our community and see what we truly have. Come and experience the friendly atmosphere in this community. We have communities here that really embrace small business and support small business. And I've, I have felt so supported all along the way. And so anyone wanting to start a business in Arizona, I would say do not hesitate. You told us how proud you are of our stories and traditions, our creativity, our food, wine, and brewing culture, and all of the immersive experiences our state has to offer. There's people that have just arrived and they add to the dynamic cultural environment that we're in, the art, the music, the food, and the stories they tell about how they came here, why they came here, and why they love living and working here in Arizona. It's the vibrant colors, the music, the costuming, the smiles, the alegria, the showmanship, the stage presence, and it's really about keeping the culture alive. When I think of our night markets, it, it really comes down to the history of our community, right? So we have a lot of individuals that have immigrated from different countries. And so we talk about food and why it's so important because it's, it's the bridge that connects so many communities. Coming together with just community and different, the different tribes and the people and stuff has made me, my artwork has changed. We have a lot of um, great Art, artists, musicians, people. It's just like, man, this is bigger than, this is all bigger than me, you know, seeing and just looking over, um, you know, the city at that point. You know, and I'm, I'm a little part of that community that's out there, you know, uh, trying to inspire and to get people to create and, and bring pe people together. My artists that are here are kind of our best assets and how we want the community and the culture to develop.